Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Today what I wanted to talk to you about is how you've possibly been feeding your crusted gecko wrong and what you can do to fix it. One of the most common questions I get asked is, Sam, my crusted gecko is growing really slow. What can I do to make it grow faster? And now there's a variety of things that make your geckos grow faster or slower, but this is kind of a unique one that you probably haven't heard before that I wanted to share with you today. And I actually discovered this by accident too the other day when I was making food for my geckos. Now with my geckos, I use one of those squeeze bottles from Pangea. They're really handy. If you don't have one, I recommend you pick one up. But anyway, you just, you know, pour your food in, pour a little water in, shake it up, pour a little bit more water in and shake it up to make sure you get to the right consistency. Well, I had accidentally left the faucet on and poured way too much water in, and basically I just had to throw away the whole batch just because it wasn't worth really feeding just a bunch of water. But it got me thinking, and that's how I came up with the idea for this video, and it's something I wanted to make you guys aware of, especially if you're a new keeper, you may be doing this, and I want you to know that it is drastically slowing down the growth of your gecko. So as you can see here, we have two half ounce cups that you would use to feed your geckos. And from the side view like this, it looks like they have roughly the same amount of food in them, right? You might notice that one's a little bit lighter, darker, one looks like it has more water in it, and one looks like it has less. And you'd be right. When we take a look at these from the top view, you'll notice that the one on the left is obviously a lot thicker and has a lot less water in it than the one on the right. But something you might also not know is that the one on the right has half a gram of food in it versus the one on the left, which has one and a half grams of food in it. Now you can see that they are filled up to the same level, it's just that one cup has three times as much food in it as the other one, right? And this is very important because let's say your gecko is, you know, a little juvenile gecko, it's a pretty small gecko. All crested geckos have very small stomachs. So if it ate the entire cup on the right, it's still only getting a half a gram of food and the rest of that mass that it just ate, I guess, is gonna be water. Versus if it ate the entire cup on the left, it's gonna be getting a gram and a half of food and it's still gonna be getting the right amount of water that it needs, you know, it's still, it's not like it's just dry food, right? So my point here is that if you're feeding your gecko very runny, watery food, your gecko is gonna to have to eat a lot more food to get the same amount of nutrition as it would if you were just making it the right consistency. Pangea says you should be making your diets roughly the consistency of ketchup, which is more like a goop. It's still runny, you know, it's still spreadable and all that. It's just more like a goop rather than like a liquid. I personally like to make my diets a little bit more watery than ketchup just so that it pours easier and otherwise I feel like it dries out really quickly, at least where I live. But that's besides the point. It's still very thick compared to the cup on the right here that you guys saw. So if you're one of the people who feeds your geckos consistently really runny down watery food, your gecko is going to grow tremendously slower than someone who is feeding their gecko nice, thick, ketchup-like Pangea diet, if you know what I mean. And the reason I want to stress this to you is because if you have all everything right in your setup, but you're feeding your gecko very watery food, your gecko might be growing slow just because of that alone. If you have good temps and a good enclosure, the watery food alone can make a drastic difference in how fast your crested gecko is growing. So if you have a slow growing crested gecko and you've been making really watery food, I recommend you try and make the thicker food and see if they like it. And if they do, I recommend you run with it. And I guarantee you that over the span of a couple months, if everything else in your setup is right, your gecko is going to grow a lot faster than if it was eating the really watery food. Even if you're feeding the really watery food, I still recommend you transition over into something that's a lot thicker because your geckos are gonna appreciate it. They're gonna be able to get more nutrition uh, just in eating less food in general. They have to go through a lot of the watery food to get the same amount of food they would if it was just the right consistency. With all that being said though, I'm not saying that if you make one bad batch of food that's really watery like I did that you have to throw it away. Feeding them that one night isn't gonna hurt them. And frankly, even if you did it a couple nights, it's still not gonna hurt them. It's just in the long run of things, you wanna make sure that they're getting the right consistency of food. That way they don't have to eat just a bunch of water to get the same food, you know? I'm curious to see how you've been making your food down below, so leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond to you. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video and it did help you out, make sure you drop a like on it. It always boosts it up in the YouTube recommendations. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you in next week's video. Peace.